my first question is for Arnott, and I wanted to t- ask you why did you choose Alaska as the location for Tell Me Why, and and what was it like bringing that setting to life in the game? So the first thing for us was to find the perfect place to set this uh, this drama. So uh, we need to find a isolated location uh, in a beautiful wide place uh, to create the perfect stage for a human scale drama. So a little town um, lost uh, in the, the wild. Uh, Alaska was definitely the perfect choice for that. It was very impressive to uh, to feel the nature everywhere because we are lost in cities. We are used to this for a long time, a lifetime sometimes. And it was the first time I felt that uh, everything around me was just pure nature, empty of any human uh, presence. So um, it was obvious for us that uh, the environment, Alaska, the landscape, was a character of its own. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. So can you tell me some examples of aspects of the culture that have made it into the game and things that players will see when they play Tell Me Why? One example of the representation of local Clinket culture in the game is with the significance of gift giving and um, the cultural values of things like respect and reciprocity and balance. And that doesn't have to be in the giving back, but it also is in the acceptance of a gift and making sure that you do have, you know, you're showing respect for the giver and, you know, being a a gracious um, recipient of that gift. So Patrick, can you talk to us uh, about the experience you had creating some of the assets for Tell Me Why and using Klingit art as inspiration and sort of the environments that you, you saw in Alaska? So a lot of what they did for Tell Me Why was convert the uh, the art that we received from the uh, the artist the uh, the Native American artist up in Alaska was um, to convert it into a digital format that we could uh, put into the game. The thing that was most important about that was to keep it as original to the artist's intent as the source material, and I didn't want to trace over it. I didn't want to add any of my own flair to it. I wanted to make sure that it was as unvarnished as possible. So, like, I got to have all these original art pieces brought to me, and I was able to, like, uh, we didn't have access to scanners because of COVID, so I had to get, like, clever and take pictures of them with uh, my iPhone and then convert them in Photoshop and uh, do all this color separation work. But um, I was able to do it and, and uh, I think the results were amazing. They say twins are connected. They finish each other's sentences. Read each other's minds. So, Floron, um, what would you say is the most important theme or lesson that you'd want the t- players to be able to take away from playing Tell Me Why? There are many important themes in the game, uh, such as family secrets, uh, you know, siblings bond, identity uh, or trans identity um, and I think all of these, these themes should resonate to, to other our players and I hope they will uh, but I think the most important with this story is the, the relationship between Tyler and Alison uh, because we, we are very happy with the story we believe it's a beautiful story and we, we hope the players will will find this relationship very positive and inclusive and I, I think uh, if there is a message to, to take away from uh, from this game, it, I, I would say it's that it is the message of positivity and inclusivity because that's that's something that really matters, you know, in in life, being kind uh, with one another and 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 yeah, to have empathy with uh, with others. So I think that's uh, that's really what what I personally take away, you know, after uh, creating this game. Oh, that's wonderful. 